Um, I have been grading homework one, and quite a few people have asked me, in particular, how to get some shapes onto their uh, finger doodle uh, program. Um, most of that is more advanced than you would know after just homework one videos, uh, unit one videos, but after unit two, and for sure after unit three, uh, you'll know how to do most of this stuff. So let me just kind of show you how that can get done. Um, you'll see on the screen I've sort of got a fairly straightforward uh, finger doodle um, program. And I can go ahead and uh, kind of show you what this will look like when it runs because I've got the emulator up. Um, so for instance, it starts out you can draw, you can change the color, you can use these buttons to change the, the width. I change it by like five each time. Um, and then when we want to actually uh, draw a straight line, the idea is that you might pick a color like I want red. Uh, I'm going to press on this button to set it to kind of straight line mode, come up here where I want to draw it, and then uh, move it. And I, again, I tried to indicate that I'm drawing a straight line with this crosshair uh, sprite on there, and it will go ahead and draw a straight line. Uh, every time I want to draw a straight line, I have to click draw here, but that way if I go around, it's just going to remember the sort of the starting and ending point of where that line was. Um, if you want to draw a circle, I'm going to just, I've got this little direction here, click on the screen. Again, I don't have to click that spot. I can click somewhere if I want a circle, let's say, you know, right here. Maybe it'll be blue, but if I want it right here, I'll click right there and it'll pop up a notifier to enter the uh, diameter. And if I want it to be, oh, I don't know, 20 pixels, I can click 20. Uh, if I want a red circle, maybe over here, and uh, I want it to maybe uh, 50, I can click 50, oops, and it would be 50. Okay, so that's the general idea of uh, the way this thing works. So, so let's go ahead and look at the code for how this is accomplished. Um, well, first of all, let's look at the design. So again, I had to go and grab a notifier and drag it onto the screen. So I've got my notifier down uh, down here. Uh, I changed the name to be circle radius notifier because again it's a circle radius notifier. Um, and so let's go ahead and, 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 and hop into the code here. Uh, so I, I wound up adding a couple more um, variables. First of all, I have a drawing uh, shape variable which is set to none and the none indicates that I'm just doing a follow the pen kind of drawing um, which most of you did. If I want um, to switch it, the other alternative is, is down here is the line where it's drawing a straight line. Okay. So, so again, the idea is that when I initialize my screen or I have my variable set to none initially, um, and that, that means when I'm coming down here and actually uh, drawing and dragging the canvas, if the line, um, the draw shape is equal to line, then I'm going to go ahead and um, set the crosshair sprite to visible and then set it to be whatever the X and Y uh, are currently of where, where I'm actually dragging. Okay, so that's kind of how that gets done. Um, and so that will move the sprite to the X and Y location. Okay, now again, it's not actually drawing because again, in this in this if part here, I'm not actually drawing a line. But when I come over here to the um, t 
touch up, meaning I've been dragging, now I lift up on the mouse button. Uh, if the drawing shape is a line, then I actually draw my line and I draw from the uh, current location XY to the start line start X and learn start Y, which gets set um, when I do a canvas touch down. Okay, so when I, again when I um, so that so to kind of walk through this whole process. Um, I have a, if I can find it, um, okay, this line button. So when the line button is clicked to draw my straight line, I set the draw shape to line. And then when I go and start dragging in the window, if its draw shape is set to line, I make my crosshairs visible and I make sure my as I drag that my crosshair sort of follows the current X and Y. Eventually uh, when I'm done dragging I lift up on the mouse and if, again if the drawing shape is line I go ahead and um, draw the actual line. Okay? So um, I guess the only other thing would be the circle. So again, the idea is that uh, when I touch in the canvas, meaning you, you click and let up in the same spot, then the first thing it does is it pops up the notifier box to ask um, how big the radius should be. And then um, it sets the X and Y values of where I touched on this canvas. And then um, for that same notifier that got popped up afterwards, it will set, uh, it will call draw the circle from the X and the Y coordinates that got set up here. And then uh, it comes back with a response from the notifier for the radius, and then that gets, uh, sets the radius of the circle that gets drawn. So uh, again, that's a fairly um, straightforward, but also more complicated than you really knew how to do in Unit 1. Um, some people figured it out, but most didn't. So I thought I'd kind of show you mine, um, my solution, at least for those part. Drawing a triangle, mm, don't want to think about. Um, you probably have to have a triangle button, triangle button, and then um, you would set a drawing shape mode of triangle and then you would have to go and click maybe three places and then just draw lines between those three places on the screen. Uh, it would be mm, pretty ugly but it could be done. So I hope this helps I explain this. Uh, I'll also post um, the dot uh, AIA file for this that you can import and try out and play with. Um, so that's all for now. Goodbye.